Shalom Israel, Shalom Jews, Shalom, all praises and glory due to the Most High, Yah, Yahweh, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're going to talk about these Mexicans, the racism. Mexicans are racist as hell towards black people. Okay? Um, black people thinking these are our allies, but that's not the case. These people are not our friends. They're only here for themselves. Okay, Mexicans, they gentrifying our black communities. They're coming over here taking the jobs, they're taking the resources, the housing, and they're replacing you, okay? They hate you. They they, they do not like black people, okay? Um, <clears throat> and all this propaganda you hear, you got some Israelite camps saying they're Israelites. They're not Israelites. All this propaganda, all these lies, they don't fit the curses. They don't fit Bible, biblical Bible prophecy. They never was... They never was put in captivity. They never was put in bondage. They never had a yoke of iron around their neck. But anyway, to make the long story short, Mexicans are terrorizing black people, Latinos, okay? Mexicans classify themselves as white, okay? They classify themselves as white. And they're, they're Spaniards, okay? They're not of us. They have nowhere close to our bloodline. But they coming over here, <clears throat> They're terrorizing our people, taking the communities, killing our black people. Mexicans are the new Ku Klux Klansmen. Mexicans are the new Klansmen, okay? They got the gangs. They took over L.A., California, parts of Washington. They're terrorizing black people, okay? You got Tri-Cities. You got, uh, you know, certain parts of Seattle. You got Spokane, Moses Lake, and, you know, Yakima, Tri-Cities, Pasco. And they terrorizing a lot of blacks in Salem. They took over and over there in Oregon, okay, in the state of Oregon, Salakia. You got Salem, you got Kaiser, you got many other places, Beaverton and Oregon. So is Arizona, so is Idaho, Las Vegas, okay? Mexicans taking that over. Uh, parts of Texas, Mexicans taking that over. Now they're working, they, now they're in the South. Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, and, you know, Midwest area up north and even the east, New York, Baltimore, D.C. Blacks, our people, black people on the east coast and the south don't know nothing about these Mexicans, okay? They starting to learn a little about the Mexicans. They see what they're doing, but they have a track record, okay? If you lived on the west coast, you know how they operate. Once Mexicans get the numbers, they're going to push you out, terrorize you, and they're going to kill you, okay? So these are enemies. They are the Gentiles, okay? They are, they, they are Edomites, okay? They are not the children of Israel. They don't fit Bible prophecy. They never had a yoke of iron around their neck. They never were sold as bondmen and bond women. They never was put in captivity and bondage. They got their own country, their own land, their own resources, their own flag, their own military, their own banking, their own, you name it, okay? But anyway, to make the long story short, uh, they're killing our people, and <clears throat> most of it is not making the news, okay? I'm giving heads up to my people. It's all, you know, swept under the rug, and these cartels, these Mexicans killing our people like crazy, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, you know, uh, this is prophecy. All nations will rule over us. You know, we'll be at the bottom. And <clears throat> these Gentiles, these heathens, you Latinos, you Hispanics going to get it. Okay. And now you got some other Hispanics is doing it, but not to the, not to the, uh, degree that the Mexicans are doing it. You got some Cubans that's oppressing us, terrorizing us afflicting us you know you got some uh some puerto ricans small number of puerto ricans well you got some puerto ricans is doing it to a small but not like how the mexicans is doing it okay they're your number one enemy in fact mexicans is just as worse than a white man if worse they are the new clansmen all the gangs they got in la terrorizing our people bombing homes apartment complexes these people are wicked as hell man and for you you are uh, Hebrew Israelites in these camps saying that they are Israelites. You a liar. You selling your people out. You should be a damn shame of yourself. 
all this propaganda, all these lies and propaganda, okay? And you're not talking about what's going on, how these Hispanics, these Mexicans, Latinos is doing our people because it don't fit your narrative, all right? But um, anyway, this is prophecy in the Lord, the Most High, and His Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is going to redeem us, okay? Amongst these, uh, being in the midst of these uh, Gentiles, these heathens, okay? And he's going to execute judgment and fury upon the heathen such they have not heard. And roughly, I'm paraphrasing, roughly paraphrasing, Micah chapter 5, verse 15, but to make the long story short, y'all got a great judgment coming. You uh, Mexicans, Latinos, Hispanic, a great judgment. And yeah, so it may, it may seem like you you uh you are uh, winning over us, but you're not. Okay, that's just you know for a short period of time. But anyway, to make the long story short, um, yeah, they took over the uh, construction sites. Our brothers and sisters, in fact, Phil Scott had. A brother, he just did a lesson. He had a brother on his show explaining how in Texas, the Mexicans, how they take over the construction site and how they get rid of all the black construction workers. Okay? How they get all we get rid of all the black construction workers and they allow the immigrants, the illegal immigrant Mexicans to take over the construction. They've been doing that. They do that all over America. <clears throat> but I get what the brother is saying. He was saying he's a contractor. He got skill. He know how to do mostly all of it. He can, he can, you know, he know how to work the trackers and all of that. See, they don't want the so-called black man, the Israelite man, Judah, Benjamin, the Levite, on the construction site. They don't want you building, okay? They don't want you building. They don't want you... Uh, <clears throat> You know, learning the trade, the skills. So they get rid of all black people. They push you out. And they do this in the schools too. They took away the trades in the school. Okay? But anyway, to make the long story short, Mexicans and took a, took over uh, California, LA. That was once black community. Then took over Arizona. Then took over Washington. Certain parts of Seattle. They took over the Tri-Cities. Pasco, Richland, Kenwick. Moses Lake, uh, parts of Spokane, and the list goes on. And Oregon, Salem, Kaiser, Beaverton, certain parts. Um, the list goes on. And Idaho, Nampa, Las Vegas, you know. Um, the list goes on, man. So now they're here in the South, in Georgia and Florida, taking over the sanctuary cities, the cities where blacks is at. Florida, Quincy, Ocala, um, <clears throat> um, Tallahassee, other parts, Gainesville, okay, Georgia, Vadosta, you know, um, you know, Albany, they taking it over, man. So, but it's just temporarily, they about to collapse. The Most High is about to bring that great judgment, that great wrath. So they think they're doing something, y'all wicked as hell, you, how you kill our, and too. Okay, they come over here, they flood the communities with drugs. The Mexicans, they flood the community with drugs, take the jobs, take the housing, push black people out. And when they get the numbers, they kill you. They started going out their way, killing innocent civilian black people, burning your homes, you know, chasing you out of the neighborhoods, all teaming up in you in school. And then the, uh, then the Mexican side up with the white supremacist groups so-called white man, the Caucasian man, and the Aryan nation and the white gangs in prison to come against the black man, okay? They've been doing this for years, okay? So there was never, never a black and brown coalition, okay? Never a black and brown coalition, that's a joke. They was never our friend, okay? They might talk to you and act like they cool with you, but that's just... That's just, uh, you know, having an open mind. Our enemies are very crafty. That's because people talk to you and joke with you. They don't mean that they're your, they're your friend. They're your allies. Black people need to wake up, okay? These people are only for themselves. Mexicans are only for themselves. And that's what I'm talking about mostly. 
you damn Mexicans. And you got a great judgment coming. And you and you damn Israelites, Hebrew Israelites that's selling our people out, you know, advocating for these damn Mexicans. You Israelite leaders and camp members advocating for these damn Mexicans saying they, they that they Israelites. They're not. These people are strict. These people are uh, these people are not these people are enemies, man. Salakia. Nothing but enemies. Okay? And it's all on social media. All kind of people putting content out. Exposing this. Okay? So y'all need to come clean and stop. And that's a stumbling block for you camp members. Okay? You Israelites. You can't explain, you know, going to the scripture, the book, how they Israelites. You always trying to come up, well, you, 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 something wrong with you, bro. You, no, no, no. no. Because you a liar, man. Okay? We got woolly hair. They got straight hair. Okay? They have the Spaniards. Okay? Mexicans is mixed with the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Incas, the Omax. Them not Israelites. They barbaric, paganistic people, man. But anyway, to make the long story short, they coming over here. And they got this influx coming in, the Title 42. Okay? That's going to bring a lot of turmoil. A lot of death, bloodshed, crime. This is Jacob's trouble, okay? But, uh, <clears throat> you know, they coming over here. And the Most High is the best knower. Okay, this is prophecy. He said we will be swallowed up. Israel is swallowed up amongst the Gentiles. And roughly, I'm paraphrasing in Hosea chapter 8. What is it? Hosea chapter 7? I think it's Hosea chapter 8. But Mexicans... They uh they gentrify the black communities. They go out terrorizing our people. So like yeah, the Mexican gangs, they uh they take the jobs, they take the resources, they real racist and hatred towards black people. They uh them people are just evil, wicked people. Them not our people, man. These are the these these are clearly the Gentiles, heathens. Okay? Now we do got some we do got some Israelites scattered amongst Mexico and Central America and South America. In fact, South America got more uh, Israelites, so-called blacks, than anywhere in the world. I mean, then, yeah, I think, yeah. Over in uh, Brazil, South America. Well, we got a great number of Israelite brothers. And we got some brothers over there scattered amongst Mexico. But these is not. These Mexicans with straight hair that's over here, the Spaniards, the Hispanics, they're not Israelites. All right? So this is Micah chapter 5, verse 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they, such as they have not heard. You heard that? So the Lord, I'm going to read it again. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathens such as they have not heard. That's what's coming to y'all damn Mexicans, Hispanics, Latinos. Okay, what you did to his people, man. What you continue to do. All right? <clears throat> you get our people fired. You take their houses. You know what I'm saying? You afflict our people. You start trouble with us. You go out terrorizing our people, burning their homes. This is uh, Micah chapter 5, verse 7. It says, and the remnant of Jacob should be in the midst of many people, as they do from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass from the Lord, not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of man. And the remnant of Jacob should be in the midst. So like, and the remnant of Jacob should be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. Who, if he go through, both tread him down and tear it in pieces, and none can deliver. So we're going to tread you down, man, and tear you in pieces when the Lord redeem us. And he's going to redeem us, okay? He's going to redeem his people, the children of Israel, of the 12 tribes, particularly here in America, Babylon, the tribe of Judah, the Benjamins, and the Levites. Y'all Mexicans got it coming, man, which y'all did to us right along with Esau, Edom, and the Arabs, and the... Uh, the Ammonites and the Moab, Moabites and the Ishmaelites, the Philistines, you Edomites, you Mexicans, Latino, Hispanics, other Spaniards, you're going to get it. 
not Negro descent, not the true original Israelites, Latinos, but you damn Gentile heathens. Okay, this is Obadiah chapter 1, verse 15. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it should be done unto thee. Thy reward should return upon thy own head. Okay? Thy reward should return upon thy own head. And it's going to return on you Mexicans, you Latinos, for what you have did to black people. Okay? Killing us for no reason. We ain't did nothing to you. You're so racist and hatred. You got all this hatred and hostility towards us. We ain't did nothing to you. But you got it coming, man. So, you know, I just want to bring that out, my brothers and sisters. You know, keep you uh, <clears throat> posted. What's going on with these now Mexicans? They're not your friend. They're not Israel. They're your enemies. And how their Mexicans are very racist. How they the new Ku Klux Klansmen. And how they terrorize and gentrify our black communities. They're coming over here to take from you, to replace you. They're only here for themselves. They're not your friend. All this black and brown coalition, all this black and brown coalition is a joke. It never was. That was some bull crap that these uh, congressional caucus, black caucus came up with, these politicians. These Mexicans are your enemies. These are the Gentile heathens. And the Most High is going to deal with them, and he's going to redeem his elect, okay? You Gentile nations, you heathens got to come and start with Esau, Edom, and then you Mexicans, you Latinos, right along with the Asians, the Arabs. You got to come in, man. That being said, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Judah. Shalom.